In this video, we'll write the equation for SrCl2 plus H2O. This is strontium chloride, and we're putting it in water. So what we need to first do is write the states. Strontium chloride, that's an ionic compound. We have this metal bonded to these nonmetals. That's going to be a solid. Water is a liquid. Next, we need to know what's going to happen. Is the strontium chloride going to dissolve in water? Is it soluble? Because if it is, then we can split it apart into its ions. We can look at this list of solubility rules right here to figure that out. So as we go down, we're looking for something strontium or chlorine. Here's the chloride ion. When we have something with the chloride ion, the Cl here, it's going to be soluble with a few exceptions. So since that's soluble, when this dissolves, it'll break apart into its ions. But what will those ions be? The periodic table can help us figure that out. So as we look for strontium, it's right here. Strontium will be 2 plus. So the ionic charge on the strontium is 2 plus. It's in group 2. Chloride ion, 1 minus. So we put a little minus up here for the 1 minus. So we know the charge on the ions. Now we can split it apart. So we'll have strontium ion, Sr2 plus. And we're going to write aqueous because it's dissolved in water. Then for the chloride ion, this chlorine here, we have Cl minus. And that is also going to be dissolved in water, AQ. We need to be careful, though, because this subscript of 2, that means we have two separate chloride ions. So we're going to put 2Cl in front of the chloride ion there. And this is the equation for strontium chloride plus H2O. Basically, it's just dissolving in water because it's soluble, splitting apart into its ions. Sometimes you'll see H2O put above the arrow here. That's OK. I usually leave it like this. And then we don't really need to write water again over here because aqueous means dissolved in water. So we're showing that there's water on this side as well by having aqueous. This is Dr. B with the equation for SRCl2 plus H2O. Thanks for watching.